Hi guys and welcome back to the channel, it's Alex here and today I'm bringing you the third episode of Fixing Shinies which is where I fix shiny Pokemon that you have suggested and today um, we are fixing Stantler who was suggested by Jason Nation, Alolan Muck who was suggested by Bossman, Reg Ice who was um, suggested by Lantern's Angler and I thought for the fun of it I'd add in Blastoise as well. So let's get over to the Photoshop. So here we are into Photoshop and let's get started. So let's get Stantler. So there's Stantler up on screen and I'm going to I'm going to do this a wee bit different. So I'm going to have the original Pokemon and then I'm going to have its shiny form standing right next to it. Now look at that shiny. That is disgusting. I don't know what Game Freak were thinking about when they threw this thing together, but it looks like um, they went a little bit Rudolph on it. <laughs> it's just turned out quite manky. So, anyway, let's start fixing this Pokemon. So, for Stantler, I was thinking that um, we could change its body. So, get get let's get the um, brown colour, get, let's get that changed though. So I was thinking we could change it to a sort of pinky purple sort of thing, like, because I know Stantler has, I, I can't remember if it's um, part psychic or not, but it's, um, it looks, I think in the anime it was using psychic sort of attack, so um, let's get, get it making it, give, giving it that sort of psychic colour. So let's just, so maybe round about there, a nice sort of pinky purple. And then for its um, antlers, I was thinking we should change them, make them a sort of orangey, sort of red colour. You know, it's, I, I actually like how this goes, it's really, I think it's really nice. And then for the nose and the hooves, I, I, like on the shiny it's all the same colour, so I'm going to um, keep them all the same colour. And I'm going to maybe... I don't know, let's see what, what colour, let's go through the colours here, so that looks quite nice, turn up the saturation, and yeah, there's a nice blue colour, so yeah, I think that's actually turned out really nice, I mean, I would totally like catch the, this shiny over its predecessor any day, um, Game Freak, you know, change this shiny now, <laughs> get, it, get it out of here, so on to the next Pokemon, which is Alolan Muck. So there's a um, normal um, Alolan Muck there, and here's its shiny. I couldn't get a good picture of its shiny, but as you can see, its uh, green part of, it, of its um, actual form has just been changed to purple, and nothing else has been changed on it. So without further ado, let's get Alolan Muck a new shiny. So, for all and Muck, I was thinking we could change the green part of it. I was thinking maybe give it a sort of turquoisey look. So, we need to up the saturation and up the up saturation a wee bit more. So, just to here. So, a sort of nice turquoisey colour. Maybe down the side. So, and then I was thinking we could change the yellows and just make them, like, change the yellows to white. I mean, uh, it's already looking really nice. Um, then the, for the blue lines, I was thinking that we could just, you know, so I've got the blue lines here, changing that just now, and I think maybe sort of a sort of a purpley colour, just to um, keep that purple on the go, just because it is a poison type, obviously. Um, for its pink bit, let's see, I was thinking maybe blue, nice blue colour, or we could change it to grey but I think that's a, let's, let's keep it nice and colourful, and we'll change the, um, the bit under its arm to 
Oops. So just sort of its um, underarm, its wee armpit. There we go. So that is what I've got for a Lowland Muck. Um, hope you guys like that. I'm actually really, I'm really happy with that. Actually, it's, I'd love that as an Lowland Muck shiny. Um, I think it's way better than its original form as well. But on to the next Pokemon now. We have Red Jace. So here is normal Red Jace, and it's shiny. Yeah, there's like literally zero difference. Literally zero difference. It's just a lighter shade of blue, and that's it. Right, so sorry about the um, Red Eye Shiny being blurred. I couldn't get a nice sharp picture of it, but that is roughly the colour of it, and yeah, it's not much different from its actual form. So let's start playing around with Red Eye. Um, for Red Eye, I was thinking it is all going to be one colour, let's be honest. So I was thinking, give it that sort of pale green, like, it's not a hideous green. This, I think it goes with the icy effect, it kind of looks like um, even more cartoony. And with its eyes, I was thinking we could maybe make them either reddish or sort of orangey colour, like so, or even change it to a sort of purple, purpley pink. And I know it's not much for Red Ice, but it's all I can really do. But I, I really like this combination of colours. It's um, Obviously it's very subtle, um, it's not much of a difference from, well, like, it's not that in your face, it's just it's kind of nice to look at. And so that's what I'm thinking for Red Ice. And then on to the last Pokemon which is Blastoise. Now there's the shiny Blastoise. It's um, purple and green, not very, not very elegant. Um, I know that, not that Blastoise is an elegant Pokemon. But without further ado, we shall fix this shiny. I don't like the green shell on it, and I don't think it goes with that purple. Game Freak, you need to sort this um, whole problem you've got with um, the, these disgusting colours going together always. But without, like, let's let's just get this sorted, okay? So, um. Onto the, so going to start changing its skin, and just going to. I, th I was thinking possibly red for Blastoise, you know, just completely opposite from what it is normally, and then for its shell. Now I wasn't sure what to do with its shell because it's. I'm just. I'm thinking what will go with red. So let's play around here. So. Possibly a blue shell, I think. Or maybe purpley. So yeah, so that's that's kind of going. That's kind of going. Um, shall we try and make it lighter? Mm, maybe a bit darker. So just like that, yeah. So that I kind I kind of like that. That's a that's a nice um, color, and it's got going there, and then. I know that it's um, not changed much on the, on the shiny, but the outer rim. So let's try and get this changed. So sort of a, a pale white, possibly. So sort of like that. And then for its underbelly. Now I have um, already pre-selected these parts so it is quicker for me to um, sort of change it so I'm not faffing around. But yeah, so let's see, for its underbelly, shall we just go like bright green, you know, bleh, <laughs> imagine, imagine, that would just be so disgusting. So for the underbelly. sort of maybe that kind of colour or should we make it more of a red just so it matches up with its 
um, outer skin colour that I've got already. So I'm thinking maybe this is kind of what a shiny blast toy should maybe look like. Um, let's just see what other colours I can do with the skin. I, I might just darken the skin tone a wee bit just so it's not too bright and in your face. So just like that. So there you go. So this that's um that's what I'm thinking for these Pokemon guys. Um, I hope you guys um, like what I've done with the shinies. Um, if you um, did like them, comment below. Let me know which was your favourite. If you thought they were disgusting, let me know which ones were the worst. Um, if they are an improvement, also let me know. Let me know if I'm going in the right direction with these shinies. And let me know if I'm actually fixing them and doing them justice. Anyway guys, um, if you like that video, please hit that like button. It's just down below there. And if um, you want to see more of this sort of content, please subscribe. And until next time, I'll catch you later.